good morning children in this class we are going to see about an interesting lesson in science so what is the lesson name is it is weather and season so weather and season so in this part we are going to see about weather in greece okay so we are we just a fame a familiar name weather okay so in the day to day life we will be able to just go through with our weather so what is it weather what is the real meaning what is the process how it is just taking up what makes up to do daily so this is what in brief you are going to see today okay so weather now as the technology has increased it is developed okay so before the day starts itself we will be getting a notification how in a mobile you will be getting you know so what are the weather it is going to be tomorrow in google it will be just updated right so it is so we are up to the day okay so we know what is the weather it is going to be tomorrow so how 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 they know before the day starts itself what is the what is the method how can they able to know before the day starts okay so first we need to know what is the weather so after that only we can able to know what is the procedure they going to take then how they can able to find out the weather it is having tomorrow okay so first you will be able to see what is the weather okay so weather is nothing but an it is a condition of the atmosphere at a particular place and time once again i will repeat it is a condition of the atmosphere and a particular place and time so it is a condition of the atmosphere it is the it is the weather is about the atmosphere okay so what is the atmosphere is today or how it is going to be happening so if it is in the morning okay if it is morning it is sunny afternoon it will be uh, maybe it is so cloudy then it can be rain okay so it can we cannot predict how the weather will be okay we can just say what are the uh, data we are collected means can come to know how it can be tomorrow this is what we can predict just we can predict what is the weather okay so here what i said is it is a condition of the weather it is a condition of the weather and it can be a particular place and time so it can be only in a particular place okay so if i am if you are in a uh, one place if you are in pondicherry okay so if you are in pondicherry the weather will be different when you compare to chennai yes or no it is different even it can be different from one area to another we cannot predict okay so it can be a nature is so very dangerous okay so if you are going to disturb it will disturb us so it is better we should not disturb the nature we should not harm the nature yes or no children so the weather is a nature right so we should not disturb them how means it can be it can be different okay so even if one area will be in one street it will be very sunny then if you going to two area so next to area means it can be rain okay so this we cannot predict how it will be it the climate can change accordingly we, we cannot uh, just programize the climate or weather okay children so this is what it says so it can in the weather it can be changing even in time okay weather can change by time also it can change from place to place so that's why said if it is in morning or uh, night to five it is a morning or uh, five morning five o'clock to nine o'clock it may rain after that it can be sunny then it can be strong then it will be getting cyclone it is it is just it won't change we cannot predict it is a nature so we can just tell what has happened what will happen okay but we cannot stop the uh, weather if it is going to rain we, as the technology has increased or developed we cannot just stop the weather okay so i don't like today rain because i have a, a program so i have to dress up well you may think can you just stop the weather oh i know i need rain today or i need sunny today means can you change no it is nature okay? so we cannot change so this what i say it is a condition of the atmosphere and a particular place and time so it is a condition of the atmosphere so we are going to say about the atmosphere and it can change from place to and time so it can change from place to place 
weather. Okay. Now we are going to see about how it differs. Or what are the things it can differ, the weather can differ. So what are the difference between them? This is what we are going to see now. It can differ from temperature. The first one itself it is a temperature. So it, according to temperature only we can able to know the weather. So they will be just uh, keeping their uh, meat up. Okay? So they, for example if there is a 100 meter, if it is going to be 55 meter then it is uh, sunny. Then it is going uh, below minus degree means then it will be rain or winter. So they will be predicting by keeping the measurement only. Okay. So by the temperature only they can be able to see that it is a weather. Okay. So how the weather will be? How can it be? So you, if you are in the afternoon parents they will be able to say they will be having a mobile phone. Right. Uh, they Then this amount of uh, in centimeter has reduced when 
rainfall by using the rain gauge. Okay, then wind speed. Wind speed they will be using by anemometer. So in a uh, news or you will be able to see it. Uh, if you are going to see the news, you can see everything. Anemometer means they will be having a stick like structure or the be arrow mark. So then it will be spinning. Okay, so if you are just seeing in the news or see they will be uh, shown clearly. Okay. Here, it is a stick like structure. Here, there will be arrow mark. Here, it will be arrow mark. So, as uh, uh, the air or the wind is going, no, it will just spin the air, it will be spinning like that. So, uh, it will carry it itself as it is spinning. Okay, so by that, we can able to see the how much amount of wind speed it has taken. So, this heat means everything will be taken by the instrument, they will be calculating by itself. Okay, so each one will be having a so the, by this only they can able to differ uh, by temperature also they can differ how the amount of temperature will compare to yesterday then the rainfall also you can compare and then humidity also you can compare then wind speed also you can compare with this instrument ok children now we are going to see about changes changes in the sense how the temp uh, weather will change accordingly how what makes Weather to change, what it makes, that is what we are going to see here. Okay, so changes in the sense it can change a particular place. Okay, so it can change from particular place. So, what I said before, that is the same thing we can apply here. You know, if you are here in Pondi, then the next area you, know, you can be in, you will be in Kadalu. Okay, so it is the um, place itself you can change the weather. So, now even if you are going to travel, you can clearly can do it. Why you may ask, okay, so because the sun rain will be uh, falling 
that will be be taken as a drawback. Okay. So first we are going to see one by one. Which is first one is sun. Okay. So evaporation. Evaporation in the sense, if it is a sunny. Okay. So what makes a sunny day? What happens? The water level. The water level will be hot. Okay. So if the sun rays falls on the water or sea, the sea will be very hot. Okay. So after getting over the sea, what hot means? What happens? The sea will be evaporated. The water will turn, turn, turn into water vapor, and it will pass through the clouds. Then what happens? You will be getting a condensation. You will be getting a condensation. Condensation is nothing but the after the water vapor has passed through the clouds. What happens? It will rain because the clouds will just form there, and it will make the uh, circulation of the uh, water vapor, and then. The sun will take in charge of rainfall. Okay, so sun only makes the uh, rainfall. Okay, so this is the process we call condensation. Okay, children. Now next we are going to see about clouds. So if you all like clouds, okay, if you all clouds you like, right? So what makes clouds? If there is a cloudy wind, what are the benefits you like? You can say it is no, it is not so sunny, it is not going to rain. It is a moderate temperature. So you like.
summer you'll be getting. In rainy, if it is going to get a little water, it is so chill. Yes, you can feel the freshness of breeze, no? So it can able to find out by the air which is a wind. Okay. So it will just cooperate with the season and it will move with the season. If it is summer wind, it will be hot. It is winter wind, it will be cool. Okay, children. Now we are going to see about rain. Rain in sense, we all like rain season, right? So we can able, we can enjoy the rain season. It's there. It is a beautiful thing, right? It's a nature. So how the rain will come? The water vapor in the clouds changes to water. So just note down. If it is a evaporation, condensation is taking here place. Okay. So water vapor in clouds changes to water. So as the sun just falls on the water. There is a warm uh, circulating, the warm air circulates and the water vapor will come out from the water and it will pass it through the clouds. Okay, so this makes the water, the, the changes of weather will make the uh, things to rain. Okay, children, so this is what they say the water vapor in the clouds. So as the water vapor passes the clouds, the clouds will make the changes to rainfall. Okay, the water pour lightly means in the air. Calling as a drizzle. Okay, so you may say you be able to the, the family word. It is drizzling. It is drizzling. Will be said because it is just a slight rain. It will be says falling from the sky. Okay, so the starting point that will be calling it as a drizzle. The second, if it is a strong rain, then then you can say it as a strong. So if it is a heavy rain and it is falling, then then you can say it as a strong. Okay, children. So till now, can you understand? So once again, we will see a recap over that. So first, what you are going to see the lesson is weather and the seasons. So in this topic, in this class, particularly what you are seeing, it is seeing about that weather. So what is the weather? A weather is nothing but it is the condition of the atmosphere at the particular place and time. So it is the condition of the weather. It is the condition of the atmosphere. So the surface atmosphere, or the condition of the surface. Can change from place and time. So, what is the difference? What makes it differ to weather? It can be able to temperature, humidity, rainfall, and the wind speed. So, it can be able to differ by the temperature, or it can be able to change by the humidity. Humidity, in the sense, it is a wet area that we can call it as a humidity. Always a place will be wet. That place we can call it as a humidity. Then it can be able to do by rainfall. Then it can be able to do by wind speed. Okay, so these are the difference. Okay, then come to changes. Changes in the sense it can be able to change only in the particular place. It can change over all the world. It can change only in the particular place. Then how the temperature will be in that uh, the the temperature will be after sunrise and fall before sunset. So it will be after sunrise and it will be fall before sunset. Okay. Now how the sun rays will be present? So for equator, so in the equator it will be hot because direct sun rays will be falling. Since the rays is slanting, the equator will get all the sun rays. Then this is why we get the hot season. Then in poles, north pole and south pole. So you know, if the sun rays Falling from here, it is a slanting position. If it is falling here, then the all rays will be here only. So the north and south pole will be hiding. Okay, so it cannot get sun rays. So only small amount of sun rays will be getting. This is why the north pole and south pole are full of ice. Okay, so for that example, you can say it is an Antarctica. Okay, children. Now we are going to see about factors which are affecting the weather. So what are the uh, factors? What are the drawbacks? What are the things will make the uh, weather? This is what we are going to see. They are termed as a four, which is sun, clouds, rain, and wind. First, we will see one by one. Sun. What is the first thing? It is sun. So it is done by evaporation and condensation. Evaporation in the sense, the, it is an, uh, the air, the water vapor, no, the warm air that is present on the uh, sea. The sea will evaporate as water vapor. So it will move. To the clouds and that will form the uh, water vapor will form to a rainfall. So that is called as a evaporation and condensation. Okay, children. Now we are going to see about clouds. Clouds in sense it can make the temperature moderate. So all when it is a cloudy, then the temperature will be moderate. Okay. So it can make it to rain also. So it makes the rain. Then it can be able to cool the temperature also. So it can. Be a temp moderate temperature and it can able to cool the temperature. Then we are going to see about wind. So what is wind? Wind is nothing but it is a moving air. So okay, so if it is if it is a 
then it is going to be brief. If it is going to be strong R, then it is going to be a strong. Okay. So how this uh, wind will affect? So it will affect the weather. It will affect the weather. Then if you are going to be, in, if it is a hot summer season, then you are going to get a wind. Then the wind will be hot. If it is in rainy season, you are going to get a wind. Means then the wind will be cool. Okay, children. Right now. Okay, so next we are going to see is rain. So how the rain is forming? Uh, as the sea gets uh, hot, more, the water vapor of the sea will transfer to the clouds, and there the it will circulate, and it will, the sun will take in charge of uh, water. So that water is falling from the sky is called as a rain. Okay, so if it is the rain is pouring lightly, we will be calling it as a drizzle. D R I Z Z L E drizzle. Okay. Lightly, the starting point of the rain will be calling it as a drizzle. Then, if it is a large amount of rain, if it is a heavy rain wind, then it will be calling it as a storm. Till now, can you understand, children? Okay. So, just go through the lessons what I have taught. Then, last you will be getting an assignment. Then, complete the assignment and proceed in the group. 